making smackalicious fried pork chops. Fried in Crisco all vegetable shortening. I remember um, seeing Nate was talking about people not, they don't cook anymore with Crisco shortening and he said he was gonna uh, make something with the Crisco shortening. So I just thought maybe, you know, let me try doing some pork chops with the... Some macalicious sauce. So what I have is two tablespoons of the Be Love Smackalicious sauce. I have uh, all-purpose flour and I have my pork chops, two pork chops, and my Crisco all vegetable shortening. Okay, this is how I prepare it. I take and spread it on both pork chops. to the other side and get the other side. This would probably be good um, for baking pork chops too if you don't want to fry them. You can bake them. But I don't want to do it old school. I don't want it fried. So we we'll just let these sit just for maybe five to ten minutes to get that marinated in there real good. And then we're ready to batter them up and fry them. Okay, my smack of lilies, it's time to add my Crisco vegetable shortening. And uh, if none of you remember, it's the cream vegetable shortening. Just gonna take it and put it in my skillet. Tell you this back in the day when mama used to cook with this Crisco shortening to fry everything in this. She would fry fish, chicken, pork chops, anything you name it. She fried it in Crisco shortening. Are you talking about something was good? Oh man, it was so delicious. So we're gonna get that melted down and then we're gonna add our pork chops, our smackalicious pork chops. it down. As we wait to get that melted down, I'm going to flour my pork chops and I'll be back. Okay, my smack of Louise, we're back. And we're just gonna test our grease to see if it's hot. 
And how many of y'all remember when you, I don't know what my mama did this, I don't know if y'all mama did it, but she used to take a little bit of water and pop it in the grease. And when it was ready to go, you put your, it's ready now because it's popping. And you put your fried fish or pork chops, or whatever you want to fry you, what you're frying. But nowadays they tell you to take your flour and put it in there. And that shows you that the grease is hot. So we're going to take our, we're going to turn it down just a little bit. I think it's a little too hot. Take our pork chops. And let them fry up. We're gonna let them fry for five minutes. We're gonna let them fry on one side for uh, two to three minutes, and then we'll turn them on the other side and cook um, the rest of the way. Two, two to three minutes on the other side to their golden brown. Okay, I flipped them over to the other side and just cooking them for another two to three minutes until they're, until they're done. Okay, my smack o -lilies, my pork chops are done. And always we put them on a paper towel to drain the grease off. That's how my mama did it. So they're all fried and we're just gonna Give them a taste. See how they taste. Okay, we just cut it and just give it a taste. Mm. Mm. Oh man, that's good. We literally put this stuff on everything. The smackalicious, bitter smackalicious sauce. Mmm. That is really good. So juicy. I'm good. Mm. Mm. Oh, excuse me for my smacking, y'all, but I'm so smackalicious. Smackalilies, this is my Smackalicious pork chops. Until next time, I'll see you and let's get the smacking. <laughs>